And as being someone that's been sexually abused, I'm sensitive to certain topics, but there's things that go way past that. that that's what I'm not going into. So those experiences, and then realizing that I'm on the streets right now talking to people who've been in the trenches, who've truly been victimized, that who truly know what it's like to be taken advantage of, to truly know what it's like to have their voices taken from them. And one of the prime examples of that is some of the elected leaders or the chosen leaders for certain communities that actually do nothing for the community except take for themselves while shutting up the community that they're supposed to be supporting. Yes. Learning about all of that is what ignited my spirit for the way that I use media to not just be a voice for the voiceless and elevate the voices for the voiceless, but to equip them. It all was born in that moment, the full vision of what I was going to do with media, media literacy and the power of independent media. So to answer your question, again, is that I was inspired by those events because I knew that media controlled the narrative. And right now, the people that were controlling the narrative in media were people who, who did not want the truth to get out. And so I wanted to take the power that lied in the hands of a few and splinter it into millions of pieces into the hands of the people who were ready to start speaking the truth. Yes, and this is, um, and what you're saying is actually uh, really key. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you went through and gave us a little bit of context and background here because that's a thing that makes the makes it even very clear on, on, on why you do what you do. That's one of the reasons why we, we set up a Telewoman campaign banana crystal for the same reason um just if you look at it uh you, you you share a lot of the experiences that women go through on a daily basis in most developing countries in africa southeast asia women are constantly abused sexually raped um there are all kinds of things going on um in those places disfigured. yeah this figure of uh, ped ped pedophilia runs super uh, reigns uh, it's reign supreme over there it's just a lot of um stuff happens out there you know i remember once i was uh, visiting africa and i was kind of shocked because I'd, I'd been away for a while and then on the streets you see kids uh begging doing street parking you know they should be in school this is a monday morning why are they out on the streets and you know and, and that's just normal and some of those girls are nine years old ten years old they get raped they get so there's all kinds of atrocities going on so when we looked at it we were saying okay what can we do to help women uh, because women are the bedrock of the, of the family, right? If you can, if the women are the ones that would send their kids out there because they have no choice, or they're the ones put in that position where they have no other choice but to do that. So if we can get, you know, set up a program for women, then that will kind of spill over because then you have minority groups, you have disenfranchised people, you, you know, you have all kinds of people all around the world that are being disenfranchised all, uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Uh, but where do we start? We have to pick somewhere. And um, so I'm glad that you have your experiences, sharing your experiences, you know, you can really, really connect with what's happening on a daily basis all around the world. Even though, you know, like you said, you grew up in a more privileged background, um, mm -hmm. you somehow got to experience the worst of the worst and the other side of it. <laughs> people, people, people with your kind of background never get exposed to that. So they have no context. They have no idea what's happening. They've never seen a jail cell before. They've never seen all the atrocities. They've never been to a riot. They've never seen one. You know, they just have no idea. And it's kind of hard for them to explain. Oh, why don't you just go there and get a job? Why don't you just go? And the person's like, you know, there are all these other <laughs> restrictions. And um, some of this is also mental, but it's, it's, but it's out there. So this, this, is really, this is really great what you're doing. Um, just being able to, um, you know, share your story. I think this would really help uh, people. And one other question I have for you there is just how, how can you share your approach to teaching? and mentoring future generations of people so that they are well prepared for the challenges and opportunities of this fourth industrial revolution that we're just um, um, entering right now because we're in the fourth industrial revolution. And, 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 you know, how, how, what, what would you say? How would you I would say your, share your approach to teaching and mentoring uh, this new generation? It's, it's really not about me at all. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate that I God gave me the vision for the philosophy, the strategy, but it's customized. What I teach is customized to the individual's own gifts, talents, and intellectual property. 
I know the systems, like I'm media literate, not just in the sense of knowing how to decipher if something's fake news or not. I'm media literate, meaning that I know all of the available media tools. I know how to use them to make money, but also to get our stories out. I know I, I, I'm just aware of all of the different ways to use media and use media actually that's free to be able to monetize our gifts, talents, and intellectual property. But it's truly customized to the, it's it to tell you how much customization is in it. What's your budget? I'm not saying you're, I'm not asking you that question literally now, yeah. but I'm really yeah. like, that is one of the questions. If your budget's zero, we have a strategy. If your budget is a hundred dollars, I have a strategy. If your budget is $200,000, guess what? I've got a really great strategy for you. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and, and so.